Netflix has way too many options and it takes individuals at least an average of 15 or 30 minutes before they're able to select their uh, choice of films. Same thing we're seeing in the financial services sector. There's model-based portfolios, there's fixed income portfolios, there's equity portfolios, there's stock brokerage services. Clients are increasingly confused on the number of options available to them uh, that have been introduced through digital disruption. Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, this is Hamdan Khan. Um, I'm a director within EY and across our Middle East office. I look after the wealth and asset management sector, uh, covering key markets like Qatar, KSA, and UAE. Interesting question. So I'd say two things in terms of what we're seeing from the industry. Uh, number one, we've surveyed a number of clients in 2023 across uh, Middle East and uh, European markets. 45% of clients are saying they expect their access using digital means. I think that's the first point. The second aspect is there's a big demographic shift in wealth management moving to millennials. And that segment expects quicker, faster, and digital services with their wealth manager. So the private banking industry is about uh, 13 to 15 years behind you know, the retail and consumer sector. But slowly and gradually, it's evolving. Um, what I see in the sector are two things. First, uh, private banks need to adopt technology to, and provide access to their internal staff. What I mean by that is relationship dashboards for investment advisors so they can holistically see all their wealth in a single place. Secondly, Customers want a single view of their investments, their relationship with the bank uh, through an omni-channel experience, meaning they want the same experience in branches uh, when they go online, when they're on the phone. So they want their wealth manager to really give them a 360 view of their investment portfolio and the way the portfolio is performing. So um, AI is an interesting topic. So the way I look at private banks, they used to look at individuals more from a value-based segmentation, right? So clients would look at individuals from let's say half a million to a million and a million plus. But the industry is now changing to understand that behavioral understanding and understanding the customer persona is increasingly important. Um, so what does AI mean? AI just means we'll be able to accelerate the understanding of customer demographics and information and being able to provide more relevant information. I'll give you one example. Netflix in the, in the consumer space is providing personalized recommendations to individuals. Similar things are happening in the financial services and private banking space, where based on your risk appetite, your investment needs, and your behaviors, banks are now start, starting to offer model-based portfolios to clients. So we've recently done a global survey across uh, European markets, Americas, and the Middle East. Uh, based on EY's 2023 private banking and wealth management survey, we found two key insights that came in terms of how do you manage the turbulent markets. Number one, there's a lot of complexity within the markets. Clients are saying they have too many options, and I'll give you an example that's outside of the financial services sector. Netflix has way too many options, and it takes individuals at least an average of 15 or 30 minutes before they're able to select their uh, choice of films. Same thing we're seeing in the financial services sector. There's model-based portfolios, there's fixed income portfolios, there's equity portfolios, there's stock brokerage services. Clients are increasingly confused on the number of options available to them uh, that have been introduced through digital disruption. Second thing is that we, we've heard from our clients is empowering them with the level of service they want. And in a recent survey, 45% of clients said they expect a lot more control and advice of their investment portfolio with their banks. What does that mean? That means easy access to information online, um, real-time information on performance of their portfolio, and thirdly, a global view of their investment outlook. Whether they're investing in the Middle East or they have their portfolios with a global bank, clients and individuals want a holistic view of their investments with their banking division. From an industry perspective, uh, millennials are seen to be individuals that want simplified investment propositions that are digitally enabled. However, in our recent survey, we found 64% of millennials actually want personal advice from their wealth manager, which is a key metric. So that tells me being digital only 
is not going to serve the needs of 64% of the millennials population, both globally and within MENA. The second thing is 54% of individuals across the MENA market and globally feel that when they're getting services from their wealth manager, there's a lot of hidden costs. So I think another key takeaway for private banks and technology providers in the region is to provide transparency in the cost of services that are being offered to individual customers.